Reality is that which, when you stop believing in it, it doesn't go away. Are you okay, Simon? I think you're bleeding. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. That's not nothing, Here, Simon. Take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Mm. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. David Munchie. Scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Don't worry, it's just some internal bleeding. That's where the blood's supposed to be. <laughs> Epic. The talk she ended to me has been in my... Movie has been in my head rent free in the past week. Hey Simon, Good to know. it's Jesse. Are you working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? That's not a great picture to have hanging. What's so significant about it? Turn That's around. Place he's been. Right. It looks very Scandinavian to me. Not very good at taking photos. For someone with a... <laughs> this, now this is a bad photo. Look at his expensive camera and he's taking just a photo of the T. And he has a lot of camera stuff for someone that takes such basic pictures. Okay, downtown <coughs> accident kills young woman. Oh shit, this is what we did. Mm. S yesterday, a driver <coughs> distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Law Street and... S Spadina Road. The mother and her children, traveling a robust SUV, were left bruised and largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. A car crashed into the passenger side. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has been released, but claims to be an accident and practically unavoidable. There what it is. Oh. Press right trigger. <laughs> I love this. Just gonna yeah, crack sure. open the Pepto Bismol. Feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. Feels like milk. Taste. Don't need din uh, don't need breakfast, this guy. You're going into a brain scanning machine, maybe you're not allowed to. Oh, that's good. I mean, like milk, but the taste of pennies. <laughs> Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris helping me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, I guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. 
dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. That's oh, a weird no, conversation, is it not? Hmm. I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like if you know somebody's, like, a best friend or partner or whatever, whoever she Hello? is... Died Dr. in a car Munchie? accident. You wouldn't sarcastically say... I hope they reverse the whole dying process! Where is it? Well, for us, be because we might have brain damage. I think that was the part. Okay. I guess so. That but... was a comment to us, which is why he was like, ah, yeah. very funny man. Um, but still inappropriate after, of course, losing someone. You know. Did we just we turn off the lights on someone else's office? We just... Yeah. From David oh, Mushi. Where are you? Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me Asa. Hi, Paul. Talked to Pace about using the lab, lab last week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we can use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It allows us to use the computers to run models and also, if a time slot comes up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we can run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other, a scan of each other and learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Aaron Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. It should be interesting. Canada! Okay, let's play GeoGuessr. So we're in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, big city. We're in a big city. We're in capital city. There's some statues. There's yeah, what, what are those flags? What are those flags? Is that no, the Toronto? Cool. Is that the Toronto city flag we see there? <laughs> Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Okay, okay, so I can figure this out. So there was some mention of a code that wouldn't be sent over email because it's too risky. So it's on a on a paper somewhere. Not on it's these. It's written down somewhere. That's a very French way to write a one. Is it? Yeah, I think <laughs> so. Five, zero, one. What makes it French? It's just that the two French people I've worked with both wrote ones like that. <laughs> That's probably important. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. The brain has amazing transformative qualities, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchy a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing, and we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. Those quotes are very German-looking. <laughs> Those quotation marks. But Munchie and Berg are not looking for a mis miraculous pan panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each, each patient. They start out recording something called an... Nakajima Neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of static brain scan, the Neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Damaged brain scans to produce model, computer model. Numerous tests conducted on model without risk. Perfect treatment is then applied to patient. Perfect treat. We are uploading your brain to the metaverse. Oh god, no. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. is not even an actual licensed doctor. I think it's really complicated. I like maybe that's so part of what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, oh, what an inappropriate thing you know, to say. You a serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard. Oh, well, that's what he meant by the dying process. Mm. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. 
And well, if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. And if you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Huh? What? <laughs> That's a wild promise. I really promise. hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. So, what do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. Take a seat. Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> huh? Ready? <laughs> Say cheese. It's such a weird... Okay, that definitely stole our soul, though. Hmm. What happened? You didn't say cheese. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't say cheese. Hello? Oh, I think we saw a video about this game. Mr. Munchie? Wait, this is... Did something go wrong? He <laughs> teleported us 4,000 years into the future. This isn't funny. <laughs> but I gotta get stuck. It was a, t it was a tell, it was a, it was a time travel machine. How did I get here? This is the start of future Rama. <laughs> Insert Omni tool to access. I think you need to get some kind of suit on. Omni tool chip installer. Build and shape the optimal, the and optimize your Omni tool with fully customizable tool and assistance toolbox. Find that thing. Check the toolbox. What toolbox? Oh. Yeah. What toolbox? That the one that said toolbox on it in big letters. Welcome to the land of tomorrow. This looks like this looks like the room that you um set up in when you go laser tagging and you have to put on your laser tag suit before you can go into the main room. So, can you put on a laser tag suit? Oh, maybe don't break the computer, <laughs> though. I can't take on a laser tag suit. You got a good, uh, like, swimming theme at this laser tag uh, <laughs> yeah. place, I think. This is too... Is that blood? Yeah. Sure looks like it. Hmm. Oh no. That's an ominous hint. Prepare to throw something at someone. I think, uh. I think this is what we're doing. We don't have the tool yet. All right, Mr. Funny Guy, where are the cameras? Huh. Okay. So, so I guess even if we the had outside. the tool, we wouldn't be able to leave because the yeah, door was locked was from the outside. I miss when we could see things in games. Yeah. It's working better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we're leaving our power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? Oh. Good question. No. Hmm. We don't like this room. What is that? 
Is that an organic thing? It looks sort of organic. It says slop slop. Just that. somebody's slopping. It's not just games; it's movies too. We can blame realistic lighting for that. Oh. What is going on? I think they just move. Creature following us and or roaming gone. around. Now it's gone. Oh no. You can lean. Oh, just. I don't think I would be able to see a creature coming at me in this dark. Joy is dark, huh? It's right next to the door. Yep. I think it's sort of the point to make it more tense. Service console up to three, including. Pilot seed activated. One set up. Warning remote access denied. Server offline. Main power suspended. Program real. Liable denied. Inertia system. 13 days remaining. Simon Jarrett. Terminal scan. Toronto. It does have our name. David Mushy is on there as well. Yeah. The subject and the authorizer. Welcome back, Louise Muron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with the toolchip. Note that without a toolchip, your FST kit will be unavailable, including your cross site security access. To continue using your des designated privileges, please insert a toolchip and run the update. Toolchip not inserted. Well, uh, your Omni tool is perfect. Vortex ship. You're currently being serviced by uh, the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Note that installing a Cortex ship will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Mm. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pesos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. There needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good hey. luck. So I don't think we're in Theta. 
We're in Pathos, right? That's what it says on the home screen. Hmm. Tool chip found. I swear all AI voices are British. What a great instruction presentation. <laughs> That was the one they decided to record as well. Yeah. The logo on the bottom left of your screen is not the same as the one at Theta. Mm. So I think you're not in the same like building or whatever this is. It's a door opener. Okay. Oh wait. So that's all I'm doing here? Inventory? Unknown contamination for the third suit. Five and six are in use. That could be these. Yeah, oh. I think it is, but like, that means. Five and six are in use, they're gone. And One three is gone. contaminated. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if I can open this door now. I'm calling it this place is a metaphor for your mind. Maybe this place is a metaverse for your mm. mind. Hmm. Al Semkin, support Amy Azaro. Tugger, task replace heat shield sub and flu. Success. Production restored. Samkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a space, a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Samkin's symptoms. No indication of what created this anomaly. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's using it in the last couple of months have been ha get, having headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours when trying to direct a helper uh, cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. <clears throat> this means you'll have to do more heavy lifting, perform the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. James Adams. Mm. Interesting. The problem is everything looks so good that things that I can interact with don't exactly stand out. This place is truly dark and dank. This is creepy and yeah, this wet. Is new. If it comes this way. Ma'am, is your no. laboratory creepy or wet? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh -huh. a what good do laboratory. Uh, what do you what do you mean by that, sir? <laughs> Me pulls out a graph explaining in detail what is creepy and wet. Haha, <laughs> it's a good laboratory, sir. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> so I don't know if, when I'm supposed to. I, th I assume you should just stay out of the sun. That made the loudest sound in the universe. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's gonna come over here if it has hearing abilities. Oh, look at that! It's actually kind of pretty outside. Observation tiles up there. Security. So are we in Theta now? Who said that? Who said that? Well, I suppose you shouldn't be touching things that have sparks coming out of them. Huh? No, Pete, don't. Ah! What was that? Uh. Hmm. It doesn't hurt anymore. 
Okay, that's very brave, Simon, but I wouldn't have done that myself. <laughs> I probably wouldn't touch the alien butthole. <laughs> hey, can you hear me? Is this stuck? Wait, are we killing it by pulling it out? I don't understand. It looks like it's kind of already dying. Yeah, I think that- Why is the robot breathing? I don't think it's completely a robot. Oh no. Oh no. know what this game is trying to tell us. Standing by. That's really sad, but what's going on? I think I know. Do you think the the consciousness of the people that were here were transferred into the robots? Yeah. That's what I'm thinking as well, but it doesn't... It like said I'm way, happy, yeah. and it was like... <laughs> which it doesn't usually... Is not usually the sound so, happy people make. So remember when the person who has clearly left this place, the human, was looking at a robot and said like, Oh, you want that? Joe. Yeah. Ah, why? Like... Yeah. So it... You're, yeah, Whatever I mean, that is, that's what that was, obviously. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on... W-A-U. Issue has been reported to S-S-E. Walkers. Walchers. Walchick. Everyone's robot but us? Wait, look at your hands! Well... <laughs> well, like... Well... How did we get here? How did I get here? So, I guess we just did that to turn that off. Now I have more power elsewhere. Radio signal. No hands. We are. All, we really are a robot. So maybe the structure leakage turned some things organic. The gel leak. I don't know. Oh hey. Oh, that's probably good. Oh, but now it's red. Okay, this is a game. Maybe you should press the button when it gets into the next color zone. Like, when it mm -hmm, gets into the mm -hmm. green. Good job. So Are we launching more. a rocket now? Yeah. Oh, we're given, uh, we're given the ground a big suck. Port Portugal, Spain. Mm. Uh oh. Mm. Bro, this is so loud. As in, the game is actually too loud, or is oh, just. What is. What, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh. Absalom, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Oh, so, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 someplace dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. 
so you can actually communicate with people. Yeah. Well, we've been this this place has had downtime for 143 days. Half a year. The other person on the line didn't seem surprised that you contacted them. That is true. Well, they That's did seem confused, actually. No, but like, not. I mean, okay. So, uh, I forget the the station we're at. Is it was it Theseus? What was the station we're at called? Uh, something Whatever. with you. We're at a station. Something with and you. And clearly, everyone is dead here, right? No, I think everyone has left here. Okay, but and now still, the robots are coming alive. But still, even if everyone's left here, I would think that whoever's usually in control, who's usually on call, or when the power, like, when the power plant stops working, I think they went around. Yeah, whoever's usually in charge of the power plant should probably be a little bit surprised if... Yeah, she was. She was surprised. No, but she wasn't like, oh my god, are you alright? Because, like... Sure. <laughs> we built this city. We built this city on rock and we built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. Yeah, I think we did. Did now we have made the loudest sound in the universe. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Just a little comforting sea shanty. Oh, kind of slow. Intense moments need soundtracks. Is this an intense moment? It's a bit of an intense moment. Oh, yo! That yes. <laughs> it's it's giving us a uh, momentum to run away. All this yeah. high energy. Are we up here? Good. Good. We did it. At least that guy didn't seem to advance. Now that I... <laughs> oh. Ooh, another butthole that you're just gonna touch with your bare hands. Ugh. Why? Wait, is that that robot talking to us? It's a robot. Pathos, Ethos, and Lo Logos. What are you? Are you blind? It's me, Carl. Carl Semkin. Oh shit. Any of this sound familiar to you? I know, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. Mm. It's not like Wait, the so that one was Amy we just killed. Are you Maybe. human? Shit, did, did my body give it away? I try hard. Mystery. Yeah, I'm human. Are you? Oh, they don't know. Simon, do you know anything about this place? Oh, you knew. That makes us slightly less weird. Look, I'm obviously hurt. If you see anyone else around, just tell them where I am. Interesting. So, where are you exactly? Are you for real? I'm right here. See me waiting? Look at my hands. Hey. Buddy. Okay, okay, I, I'm, ju I'm just gonna be... I, I'm not seeing it. I, I see a machine, a robot talking. What the hell are you looking at? I'm here! See? Uh, okay. I, I just didn't expect you to look like that. You're really hung up on appearances, you know that? Hmm. How did you hurt yourself? Not sure. Blacked out pretty bad. Can't remember how I got here. What do you remember then? I was in the pilot seat, promoting a UH. UH? A universal helper. You know, a robot like these things, but livelier. Anyway, I was just dealing with some heat shields and... That's my last clear he got, memory. He got, uh, fused with the... With the helper, I think. Maybe. You were remote controlling a robot. We do it all the time. Robots. 
months, I too want a way to deal with some stuff. Intuition doesn't grow on motherboards, you know. Did you maybe get trapped in the robot somehow? Your mind is pretty tightly wired to the helper, but nah, pretty far-fetched. Oh, they used their brains to control the robots, actually, mm -hmm. so Listen, they could get lost in the you, source. But I think you might be trapped in a robot. I'm telling you, get your eyes checked. I'm right here. I see both my hands. Oh, so we hands. could also be trapped in a robot. Like a video feed from the helper unit. Your own body is entirely out of the picture. Hello? Can you... Hello? Can you... Uh-oh. It's me, Carl, calling from the floor. Like, right next to you. Find someone who can help. If you see any others, just let them know. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Well, that's... So... So we could very well also be in a robot. Oh. oh no. Yo, what did we just do? What did you just do? You just electrocuted him. Oh. oh no, you can't undo it. Oh, you can undo it. I'm sorry, I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. Oh. That's a body. Oh god, he's dead. He's dead. Paul. Oh, can we show that to him? You have an inventory, right? Oh no, you can't pick it up. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. We've hedged our bets as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. Pathos 2. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're gonna have a hell of a time getting a rock off. He doesn't remember that. He doesn't yeah. remember getting attacked. Yeah. Wait, he was attacked by a creature. He died while in a machine. He was controlling something and he died. So his soul went into the machine, I think. Maybe so. So maybe this happens if you're mid control. You're in your So if you die in VR, you live in VR forever. ID 0722. And then after this, we're probably going to have to electrocute him. Uh, change? Oh, okay. Zero, seven, two, two. Sorry about that call. Okay. <clears throat> to Heather. Power production has been secured. We sealed off the factory to keep the plant running. Or superf superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone has ever has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. Sent. Mm -hmm. Solution found. Mm. Shut down one of the highlighted sections to divert power to the communication center. Yeah. Shut down. Hmm. Okay, so we have to do that. Okay, wait, what's this? What do we do? What's it's what did you just turn on? on? Storage control and, and storage. I think something next to it just opened. Yeah. <laughs> ah. This looks important. It says what it is. The CCRV7 black box. This black box is a precision instrument designed to observe your overall condition. It measures a wide range of data from body temperature to brainwave activity. This information is constantly relayed to Pathos 2's warden unit. WAU. So that's the thing it said not to get uh, thermal paste on or whatever. So the station can provide you the appropriate climate for every situation. 
for optimal performance, please follow the auto injector instructions carefully to make sure the implant is properly applied. So sad. Yeah. Oh, it is, it is a bit of an oof moment, isn't it? Oh, I have to leave him like that. Can't even put him out of his misery. Ugh. I'm just saying, if I saw that, I probably wouldn't want to try to touch it. Yeah. Something could come out of that. Just grab him. Gotcha. Huh. So now I'm. Uh... Hey, are you there? I found the dome ceiling. Oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared. Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have you figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? Where do you even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk How did like I get here? People? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? The Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pezos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. He said he was hurting. Sort of. I don't know. What was that? No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how do I get there? There are shuttle trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Okay. Shit! 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 Where do I? Where did I? Oh, fuck! Okay. Mm. Do you want to bet that she's also a robot? No, she's too. Hmm. She's so unconcerned. Yes. She doesn't so... know that. She either doesn't know that these people have died in the like. On... Let's not say died. No. No. She doesn't know that the, the two people that ha were the last people here didn't return from their stations, right? What I don't think so. I, I think she is, is just... Possible? We are a robot. We're a robot. Oh, this is sick. Yeah. This is insane! Oh, that's such a cool reveal. Like, I'm surprised that her reaction wasn't, Carl, is that you? Or whatever, like... Yeah. You know? Like... Yeah, sure. Well, maybe some people are left in the dark. Google Assistant. Siri slash Alexa. These are good theories. She could be, like, uh, a an AI, like, straight up. Not a human turned robot, just a robot robot. Come in, Peter. You better answer me, Strasky. Come on! Amy, where were you? The field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe? Need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, Alright, um, calm down. It'll, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yeah. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. I'm rooting for you. Interesting. Wait, is that the helper unit? They said there was a helper unit. Hey, you? Is that a hey, you? Uh, well. Thanks, little guy. Thanks, little guy. This was clearly a robot that is specifically for opening doors. So, I mean, a helper it also unit has could a torch. be literally anything that. It also has a light that is very useful. Okay, so theory one: everything that we're we're experiencing is real, but we are a robot. And we have fully come in a hundred years ago. Oh, this is exactly why I said you shouldn't touch these things, oh, Johnny. Christ. What the hell? <laughs> oh, iPad. I feel bad. Try the oh, iPad. Johnny, get iPad. Johnny, get iPad. Uh, Pathos 2 memo. Impact event. On the morning of January 12th, 
the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean, the impact ranks of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface is completely barren and there's no, and it no longer is able to sustain life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Structural damage has been noted, but casualties, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station lo located on the surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is under circumstances a small price to pay. The ADA will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 at the ultimately man and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K4 Quarry. Even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. That's really sad. It's actually a lot of rooms I haven't even checked, because I remember we, uh... Okay, back to the conversation. Maybe we have an auto translate, yeah. So back to the back to the conversation. Theory one is that everything we're experiencing is real. Which would mean that maybe um, as a failsafe, the doctors that initially practiced on us, that tested on us. That's like fully a person. Hey, are you Don't hurt me? Can I help? Wait, that's Amy. Nothing is allowed to die. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Has she been down there for 170 days? Right now, our power supply is reserved. The power, the basic system is powered. The tracks are offline, and the safety system is offline. I think it is giving us the very shitty choice that we have to... ...kill her. No! Shit, are you okay? Can't put it back in, but now the other things are powered. Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. I'm scared for Amy, yeah. That sucks. Okay, we definitely killed her. Fuck. Okay, so this is super not a machine though, right? She's not a machine. No, no, machine that's not a keeping... machine. That well, is a well, monster. Well, she said, well, no, I think this is a machine, but it's a machine that can keep people alive for some reason. She said it will not let me die. Yeah, I know, but like, don't you, you think know? that that thing has a... A very organic design to it, like it's supposed to be a bit ambiguous on whether it's a machine or not. It is bleeding. Oh, I just remembered that the doctor said something. No, the the like computer science guy that we met up with said something very ominous, where he's like, maybe you'll outlive us all. We should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. Actually puts your brain in a computer that lives forever. That's what it is. Where's the open door button? You t oh, God damn it. God damn it. Here it is. God damn it. Ah! Fucking everything looks so real. Okay. That we opened everything. We turned on all of the power. Mm -hmm. we did. Oh wait, use your use your fucking like get get your thing out from from the train. I can't. It's it's supposed to be here. And I, oh hey, are you, are you serious? Are you serious? You're fucking serious. Oh my god, you just had to sit down in a chair. Oh, that's so stupid. Okay, fine. Classic gaming moments. Night. Welcome to Pathos 2, your expressway to the stars. 
What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable <laughs> way to launch Gun? satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station has multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Why are their faces all fucked up? Why is the audio bad? projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. Because they died. That's <laughs> scary. Imagine being an employee here and having to listen to that every single time you use this. Oh, uh, oh great. Oh, shit! Like, I feel like if Catherine was a real human being, she would be like, be careful when you get on that tram though, because the track is seriously <laughs> fucked up. But also... Uh, she had limited seconds to talk to us, and obviously, the game. But she was like, trying okay, to but she was like, she was like, well, just come over then, just come over. Like, it's really easy. Oh, yeah, they didn't, they didn't put this here for no reason. Of course. It was. Classic. This would happen to us, Simon, wouldn't it? First, we crash a car, then... Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going... I don't trust. Can I walk there? Yeah, but the She's tunnel sus. is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What's that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Okay, she's gonna be mm. either murdered by the time we get there. Catherine? You okay? Or... Yeah, absolutely. She's either gonna be murdered by the time we get there, or she was a suspicious robot the whole time. Slimy. I want to see this down here first. There's a light. Oh, it's a butthole. Ah, oh, it's another butthole. Oh, it does have a healing symbol on it, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I don't... Oh. What if we don't look like that at all and our hands are like fully like the the alien with the with the parasite? And, they, and the reason why you're hey, poking... what's going on? The reason why you keep poking the buttholes. Did I see a, did I see a figure there? I think you saw a figure there. The reason why you keep putting your hands in things is because that's what the monster machines do. They put their hands in things to charge up. Charge up some juice. It did kind of look like there was a person there, but that could have been the game, like, kind of just freaking you out. Yeah. It sure did. But why did it do that? What's that about? Maybe we're getting, like, visions from the past. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're, like, seeing visions of, like, people we used to know or whatever. <laughs> Again. 
I thought the reason why they heal you is the sort of similar machines that kept Amy alive or alien things. I don't know what they are. Yeah. It's probably... I oh, like you think... That. That's, that makes sense, you, right? You think that maybe these alien machine things, these sentient machine things are actually kind of like fully um I can find Lambda, right? I mean really? How big can this ocean be? A really kind of like morally ambiguous, like they don't actually they're not trying to hurt you or heal you necessarily, they just do what they do. There are man made oh, yeah. machines that look like what we understand robots to be. Which was the thing that Carl turned into. Like the portal looking robots. Those are like robots. And then there is some kind of like organic machine thing, which looks kind of alien. And it was the thing that was keeping Amy alive, and the thing that has the little like healing slots. And I think those are two separate concepts here. Okay. I propose that when you get in here, we might need to s yeah, keep the rest of the stream for the next. Should. Oh, I need to jump. When you're safe, when you get to like a save point or whatever. I just, I'm, I, look at, okay, if this theory is real, I'm interested to see if anyone else is exactly like us. Like, a hard drive memory state of somebody's brain from a hundred years ago. Or like from, from the past, let's say, where their body would have died. Because so far, we have not met any characters so far. Which is not somebody who's currently alive. Mm. Well, we, from what we picked up from Amy, she had an accident. And she was being kept alive by that yes. machine. But thing. that was a real person living in the now times? Yeah. That was not somebody from 100 years ago. Like oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what yeah. I mean. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. And, and that would be interesting if Catherine was one of the people like us. Catherine is fully a robot but is not surprised because she's in a similar situation for us. She was awoken. Yeah. Just, and has had time to... What, you think she's also just a, ro just a human she, from yes, now? Yes, yes. Then so. I think there's a lot of problems. Okay, so far I just don't think the theory because holds her up. her and Carl were so, like, like, what are you talking about? Like, they don't, like, there's no reason for us to be here. So they just assume we're just someone who's supposed to be there. Like, someone, like, it, yeah, it's weird. And Carl also just thought we were Amy at first. Um, yeah. Bleh. All right. You know? Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.